Which villager will you shiny up? <laughs> no, we're not killing the villagers, guys. <laughs> That's not how it works in this game. You make friends with the villagers. Wait, so who are our neighbors? Oh no, I hate Boone. I had this guy in Wild World. I remember you. And who's this? This is Flo. I had like a hybrid flower garden in my like, my Wild World world copy. And he built his home like fucking on top of it. And then like he decorated his home like garbage. For like the two years he was living there. And I hated him every day. Yes, of course. Welcome everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook. And I'm the founder and president of Nook Incorporated. Like each of you that choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. First objective. Survive. I... I kind of want it to be past the river, but I have no tools. Can I build it here? Just like on the sand. That climate change claim me. Is it gonna let me? Oh god, it's actually letting me do it. We get a nice sea breeze. You can decide where they move in. It's not, it's, yeah, it's nice to meet you too again, man. I think this spot will do the trick. I'll, I'll find you a spot, Boone. Hang on. Too close to the water. What's the problem? I don't want him to have access to anything. That taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warming party. Hey, Mr. Nook, can we not invite Boone? Just, just, just me, you, and Flo. Just gotta make sure his home's really terrible to get started. You ever seen a man burn alive at the stake? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned. But that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. I have no doubt that with hard work and perseverance, that means you're gonna do all the hard work and persevere, will shape this deserted island into... Because we can't call it a deserted island anymore. What should we call it? It, it, needs to, it needs to have a name where like you hear it as like, I want to take a trip there. I got it. Um... I mean, I could say it stands for something else. <laughs> what do we think? Should we do LST? Oh, Daniel suggested... PTSD. <laughs> wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. The P is for positivity. <laughs> I suppose if everyone's in agreement, we could just go with PTSD. <laughs> Absolutely sounds great, it rocks. <laughs> And from now on, this island will be known <laughs> as PTSD. Okay, a toast to PTSD and the happiness of its residents. So, looks like you decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. Take it from a cat who's been on the road. You're a dog. First, you'll need one of these, yes? It's an iPhone! Say, Daniel, have you ever used a smartphone before? Say, Daniel, are you a boomer? Oh, it's your itemized bill. This includes everything, airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone. And your grand total, oh my god, 50 grand in the hole. The getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard balance. They call this extremely helpful service the Nook mileage program. With this new service, it only comes to 5,000 miles. Walk 5,000 miles with PTSD. You too can pay your home loan. Sounds about right. Oh, and Nintendo sent us some stuff. Thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a present to show our appreciation. Oh, it's a Nintendo Switch! I just push this closer to the ocean. That seems safe. We got an iPhone now, okay? Like, who would want a Nintendo Switch? You know, clearly I'm a PS4 fanboy. Island residents and visitors alike should feel free to use the bulletin board to communicate with each other, celebrate special events, and more. I can create a post. Hi, everyone. Just so he knows his place on the island. Think of the children. This is my island. I'm allowed to do what- This is my paradise, okay? I can do what I want. So this is the recycling box. Oh, is there any freebies in it? To start off with. Because I know in Wild World this was a thing. A car- I'm taking it. It's mine. Okay, and they also buy stuff. And they pay a bit for returning weeds or trash. Okay, let me go get Boone real quick. Okay, PTSD, Miles. <laughs> Get now! Hope you guys like gardening. We're gonna be here a while. I'm just- I'm just trying to clean up the land. I wanna get in the spirit of, like, island life. Look, this is my paradise, okay? And in my paradise, we don't wear pants. <laughs> ah, Daniel, found the necessary materials. By the way, what happened to your shoes? There we go. That's... 
Okay, that's that's a good fish. You probably wear these if I found another boot, right? I've got an idea for a DIY recipe. We we just sold our shoes immediately, and it's like our character has to resort to desperate measures to survive. Just sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood, along with the recipe to craft an axe. An axe would come in quite useful on this island. Yeah, Boone's still living here. I could use it real quick. You'd think we've been, like, abandoned for, like, years already, if you look at our character. Like, we literally just got to the island. Bladders, is that you? What splendid timing. Yes, yes, do you remember this venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. I am currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call PTSD. <laughs> Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. That looks kind of nice. Okay, museum spot is built. So do I have to wait for till tomorrow for him to come? We're in the future now. It's now the 21st of March. The PTSD airport is now open for business. <laughs> if you want to have a really shite flight to anywhere in the world, it's Bladders. He's here. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. But the river, you say, I can't just hop over it, you say. Silly you, I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely deserted island. Oh my god. Oh, what? Refrigerator, nice. Oh, that's gonna give me storage now, too. Refrigerator, should I change? Get changed? What? This this isn't where I put my clothes. Looks like I can send a message on a card for 200 bells. Ready to send a letter. <laughs> uh, that's a bargain. That's an absolute bargain. You're growing weary of life in a tent. I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building a home. Now there are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in a remote location such as this. Challenges that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. How about with zero interest finance and an extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. Yeah, people say Tom Nook is like the worst because like he's always putting you in debt, but... You know, he doesn't- he never pressures you to repay the loan. You don't have to pay him back. Imagine like taking out a mortgage and like the bank's just like, Ah no, you just pay whenever you're set. The man's a saint. That's all for me, your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Ready tomorrow, you say? It's 10.34 a.m. this happy Sunday, March 22nd. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can help you out today. I want to fly. Have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would dodos do? Dodos just die, don't they? Oh, we gotta dig some of this up. Oh, this is so much better than the last one. And there's a koala living here. Mom says, always says, there's magic and chance encounters. So I'm glad we ran into each other like this. Melba, I would die for you. Please move to my island. Ready to send a letter. Send one. There we go. I think, I think this makes us pen pals now. Please just become a god. Well, the thing is for Animal Crossing, it takes a while to properly torture your citizens. As the, it's a slow burner of a game. Like, you have to work your way up. Like, you know, it starts by me like harassing Boone every single day he's in this town. And then eventually, yeah, like, you know, I'll start sealing the exit to his home. But I gotta unlock the tools before I can do that. Being an asshole in this game, it takes time and proper planning. But we will be an ass- Oh, yo, Daniel! Hey, Flo! What's up? I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. That's right. Thanks for doing your part for PTSD. <laughs> got an idea. If you got, got- if they got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. This is a regular shovel, too! Oh, Flo, thank you so much. Best villager on the island. Villager of the month. It goes to Flo. Fuck you, Boone. You didn't give me a shovel. Okay, so you, you wanted to see, like, the height of classiness now? Completely naked. <laughs> God, with the sunlight, it really does look it, doesn't it? Wait, wait, wait hang on. Wait, um, well, there's the thumbnail, lads. There's the thumbnail. <laughs> I want to see what happens if you just go, like, 50 years into the future. It's like your villager is like, Tom Nook just comes out of his tent and it's like, Where were you? Like, why- why did you leave us? <laughs> we were on an island. I had to eat my grandchildren. The laws of time are mine to command. <laughs> this is Tom Nook, it's now two- 11 past two, this happy Monday, March 23rd, 2020. Today, PTSD has its very own museum. <laughs> 
No, we've a history of post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> Dear PTSD folks, I'll be heading to your island every Sunday morning to sell my precious turnips. Just the way my grandma used to. Wait, 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 wait. hang on, Daisy. Just the way my grandma used to. Is Joan the turnip peddler dead? Well, at least the bamboo is growing, you know? May Joan rest in peace. <laughs>